I have with me two of the most popular puffer jackets of all time, the North Face 1996 Retro Nupsy and the Montclair Maya. These two jackets have reached iconic status with a global following, from Drake rocking the Maya in his music video Hotline Bling to every single Brit and New Yorker rocking the Nupsy. With this timeless design, these two jackets have become a must-have staple for fashion enthusiasts everywhere. As popular these two jackets are, there is one huge difference between them, and that is the price. The North Face Nupsy retails for $330, while the Montclair Maya retails for, are you ready? $1,750. That is a 430% price difference. But is the Montclair Maya 430% better than the North Face Nupsy? Let's find out. Starting off with material, the Montclair Maya shell is made from 100% nylon. The lining is also made from 100% nylon. Montclair is known for using very dense nylon that is extremely lightweight, weighing in at only 33 grams per square meter. It's also woven in a fine way so you don't see feathers poking through the shell. The jacket is filled with 90% pure goose down and 10% feather. The fill power is 710. The jacket weighs in at 845 grams. For the North Face Nupsy, this jacket is made from 100% ripstop nylon and the lining is made from 100% nylon. This jacket is filled with 85% down and 15% feather. The fill power is 700. The jacket weighs in at 727 grams, making this 118 grams lighter than Montclair. Now let's talk about the features of these two jackets. For the Maya, the signature high shine finish is thanks to a process called calendaring, where the fabric is pressed between two scalding hot rollers. In the Maya's case, this is done twice, helping the 40 denier nylon repel both snow and rain, and also keeping the jacket lightweight. In the case of the North Face Nupsy, this jacket is rated to be windproof and water resistant with a DWR coating, but it is not waterproof. The difference between water resistant and waterproof is that water resistant can only hold up to a certain amount of water, where waterproof acts as a complete barrier. How water resistant are these two jackets, you ask? Let's go find out. I'm outside my house, it's like 20 degrees, it's freezing, and I'm about to spray myself with the hose. Let's do this. First, let's spray the Montclair Maya. Here are the results. Water did seep through the jacket a bit, especially in the lower waist area and around the belly, but the majority of my body is dry. Considering how much water was shot at me, the Maya jacket did a great job. Next up, let's spray the North Face Nupsy. As you can see, water did seep through the jacket, mainly in the front belly. This jacket did not do a good job at keeping water out, and I would not wear this jacket out in heavy rain or snow. The Montclair jacket has a total of three zip pockets, two zip pockets of the belly that are not lined with any fleece. On the left arm is a small button pouch with their signature Montclair patch sewn on. On the inside, it is lined with 100% nylon. There's only one interior pocket total on the left side. All their pockets are disappointingly small. And at the bottom is a cool comic strip that explains the washing and care instructions. The snap buttons and zippers are made of Zamac, which is a zinc alloy. This metal is extremely popular but very cheap to make. I would expect higher quality metal like brass considering the $1,750 price tag. The jacket does have two-way zip. The sleeve openings are adjustable through a snap button. I'm extremely disappointed that there are no knit cuffs. Every high-end down jacket I've owned has it but not Montclair. Moving up, there's a stand-up collar to keep your neck warm. The hood is very standard, the brim is not overly long, and you can remove the hood through these snap buttons. The North Face jacket has a total of 3 zip pockets, 2 zip pockets at the belly that are not lined with any fleece. On the inside, it is lined with 100% nylon, there's only one interior pocket total on the left side, all their pockets are disappointingly small. North Face uses YKK Vizlon zippers, these are just the standard Vizlon zippers that are much cheaper than the Vizlon zippers used in luxury brands like Canada. A goose. Disappointingly, there is no two-way zip. The sleeve openings are adjustable through Velcro. I'm very upset that there are no knit cuffs. Moving up, there's a stand-up collar to keep your neck warm. The hood is packed in this neck pouch. Taking it out, this hood is literally paper thin with no insulation. This hood will keep your head dry in light rainfall, but don't expect any type of warmth from this. So for the features, which jacket is the winner? The winner of this category is... Montclair.
Let's move on to the fit. Both jackets are a size medium. For the Maya, shoulder to shoulder measures at 18 and a half inches. Chest measures at 22 inches. Sleeve lengths are 26 inches. And the length is 24 and a half inches. For the Nupsi, shoulder to shoulder measures at 21 inches. Chest measures at 23 inches. Sleeve lengths are 25 inches. And the length is 25 inches. Here's how the Montclair jacket fits. For a puffer jacket, this fits extremely slim. You definitely have to go up a size in this. In contrast, the North Face Nupsi fits very boxy, which is a staple in 90s fashion. Both jackets have a short body length at 24 and a half inches for the Maya and 25 inches for North Face. The short length on the Nupsi is meant for mountain climbers to have easy access to their harnesses. But we all know 99% of the people that own this jacket don't climb mountains during the winter. The Maya jacket fits slimmer all around. It has a two and a half inch more narrow shoulder opening and an inch more narrow chest opening. The sleeves are one inch longer. The Maya jacket is by far the slimmest puffer jacket on the market. It looks tailored so you don't have to sacrifice style in the winter. The designer hated how standard puffer jackets made you look like a fat muffin. So you use a bolted construction which is a horizontally stitched quilting that's filled with a precise ratio per inch of goose down. Bodin means sausage in French and it's basically the puffy strips in between the horizontal stitching. The more bodin a jacket has, the more the designer can work on its fit. The Maya has 5.5 bodin where previous designs have only 4.5. In contrast, just like most puffer jackets, the North Face does make you look like a muffin. The bright side to that is the insulation feels like pillows are hugging all around my body. Even though this jacket looks like it fits large, I recommend going true to size. Here's how the two jackets look with the hood on. In order to maintain its slim silhouette for the Maya, there's no brim and the hood is not overly big. You still look stylish while keeping your head warm and dry. For the Nupsi, the hood is a huge contrast to the overall puffy fit of the jacket. There's zero insulation and it's paper thin. This hood looks so off and feels like it doesn't belong on the jacket. If North Face is going to provide this type of low quality hood, then might as well just leave it off entirely. For the fit, which jacket is better? It's really hard to say because it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a more slim and tailored look, then go with the Maya jacket. If you're looking for a more retro and boxy fit, then go with the Nupsi jacket. So there's no winner for this category, it's a draw. Now let's talk about the warmth of the Montclair Maya jacket. I'm extremely impressed by the warmth considering how light and slim this jacket is. It's about 19 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 7 degrees Celsius. The jacket is still 9% pure goose down and 10% feather. The fill power is 710. 9 to 10 down to feather ratio is as close to high quality as you can get. The placement of the down is also very well done. For example, certain spots my body doesn't feel colder than the other. My body feels equally warm all around. But there's a couple of features about this jacket that does not make it a good jacket for extreme winter conditions. First, the short torso of the jacket does an awful job at preventing wind from traveling up my hips. Second, the lack of storm cuffs doesn't prevent wind from blowing up the sleeves. And third, there is no fleece lining in the pockets to keep my hands extra warm. Overall, the Maya jacket is decent for the winter, but there are obvious sacrifices made to the warmth in order to keep this jacket slim and fashionable. Now let's talk about the warmth of the North Face Nupsi. It's about 19 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 7 degrees Celsius. This jacket is made with 85% down and 15% feather. It has a fill power of 700. And this jacket is freaking cold. Freaking cold. Considering this jacket weighs in at 727 grams, the warmth to weight ratio is very disappointing. This jacket is great for mild winter conditions, but when it's below freezing like right now, then I would not wear this out. There's four features about this jacket that I really hate. First is the lack of a hood. It doesn't have to be rainy to wear a hood. When it's below freezing outside like right now, you want to be able to put on a hood to keep your head and ears warm. The North Face hood does not provide any insulation at all, so I think North Face is better off just leaving it off. Second is the lack of the storm cuffs. Storm cuffs do an excellent job preventing wind from blowing up your sleeves and giving you extra comfort. This jacket does not do any of that. Third is the lack of fleece lining in the pockets. Fleece lining helps trap heat and keep a cozy environment for your hands. And lastly, the short torso of the jacket does an awful job at preventing wind from traveling up your hips. Overall, this jacket is way more suited for the fall rather than the winter time. For the warmth, the winner of this category is Montclair in a landslide. So with all that said, which puffer jacket is the winner? I have to give the slight edge to the Montclair Maya. The Maya jacket is well constructed and most importantly will keep you warm. But just like with all luxury brands, you're paying a premium for Montclair. This jacket is not worth $1,750. For the North Face Nupsi, $330 is a lot cheaper than the Maya jacket, 
but I still think it's overpriced for what you get. There are a lot of solid down jacket brands in the $150 to $200 price range that I think is better than a Nupsy, but it's obviously not as trendy as a Nupsy, and that is what you pay extra for. So in conclusion, I think both jackets are overpriced for what you get. I'm honestly not a big fan of these two jackets. So let me know in the comments below if you prefer North Face or Montclair. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.